transformative and it's changing so, um, so fast that it is practically impossible for us to fight the battle on all fronts and collaboration, knowing what's happening out there, knowing what other competitors are doing um, and learning from that and being nimble and flexible has been, uh, has been the one common thread that we'd love, definitely like to um, take pride in and, and feel that our teams um, uh, done phenomenally well. Um, learn from it, move, act. The other thing that I will uh, I will bring to light is definitely good financiers. Uh, I, I think this space needs financiers to be as flexible uh, and anybody, any financier who holds on to a original business plan uh, or the, um, you know, or the direction of the plan is also going to be phenomenally upset because it's not going to stick to that. What we talk to about entrepreneurs and what we look for is, I think, you know, having a great product is great, but having a great team is even better. You know, because the markets are evolving so much, you know, if, if you are just looking at one single product, uh, it it might kind of give you a great start, but then you shouldn't lose sight or you have to keep evolving. So I think what we look for is uh, the kind of team that's there. And I don't mean just the founders of a company, right? So they, you know, that's also important, but then you should have a very good uh top management in place, right? So th those are the people who will really help you scale your business. To scale up, we need a asset finance would be ideal. But because it's a new technology, it's not really um, so proven in the marketplace. So who do we get to take on that risk? Uh, because they say, yeah, well, we, we might buy these containers, um, but how do we sell them if it all goes wrong? Um, so uh, that's really one of our key challenges that I've got to be uh, working on and, and sorting out is how do we finance the, um, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the, the, provide us the resources that we need to build each of these um, units and then send them out and deploy them in the field. So the big challenge is convincing them to try out a new technology, to work with a startup that has an innovation, innovative idea with them, you know, to, to basically give us a chance to, to, demonstrate, you know, so to let us demonstrate our capabilities and then based on that, try to get a larger contract, right? So in order to overcome this, um, we are trying to partner with, with uh, companies that have established relations with the electricity distribution companies in, in the target countries that we're working in. And also finding the investors who can back us that will you know, give us the funds to grow our teams and have those resources that we need to reach our end customers quickly. I, I mentioned it briefly that um, writing small tickets doesn't really work from a cost or a time perspective for a traditional investment fund. And that's because you know if you're a traditional investor, um, each deal comes with a number of legal um, and like other fees, right? It's a lot of paperwork. It's a lot of time as well. So it just writing a 10,000 pound check doesn't really make sense. And so that's why you see with a lot of investors, you know, their sweet spot might be a million to 5 million plus. Um, so yeah, writing these smaller checks just it's really challenging um, for, for a traditional funder.